Yo, 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 what up, it's Kizzle, from Kizzle's Fix, bringing you NPB parlay of the day, NPB picks and predictions, all that NPB shit you need to know, we got a full slate again for you tonight guys, six games, hopefully six winners and some money to be made again, um, yeah, and some good pictures should be a good night. So, hit me up in the comments, hit that like button if you're new, subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when the video is dropped, and with all that shit said, let's start the fucking video. Alright guys, first game of the night here is Yakult Shinichi, we got Michael Yazer versus Hiroti Takahashi. Um, I'm liking Shinichi in this one, uh, Yazer's uh, not a bad pitcher though too, so I'm probably looking at a first half under... And maybe full game under here, but I like Chinichi to win. Next up, Yomari and Hiro. Tomoyuki Sagano versus Masati Morishito. This one's screaming unders all over it, too. Uh, both teams play better defense than offense, so yeah, we're gonna go with both unders in this one. Next up, Bank and Radikin. We got Shuta Ishikawa versus Tatsuki Koja. So Softbank has beaten up on uh, Koja a couple times, but they haven't been playing uh, right lately. It's been uh, a little bit different, but I do. Their pitcher has been pretty decent against Radikin, so I like Softbank first half and then. Uh, what did I take full game here? And then I like some runs to be scored over here today. With an over. Next up. Yokohama and Hanshin. Katsuki, Azuma, and Koyo Ayagi. So, you know, it's Azuma, man. I usually always back him. He's usually always, he only lost a couple times for us this year. But I'm taking Yoko, uh, going up against Koyo Ayagi. Um, we're going to go Yoko first half and Yoko full game. Uh, Zuma's probably one of the best pitchers in the leagues, I think, man. Ever since opening day, he was fucking great, so that's that. Next up, Seibu and Nippon. We got Kona Takahashi still 0-11. I don't know how he's still starting. Against Hiromi Ito, who's 11 and 4. Uh, so, Nippon whole way, Nippon run line, everything about Nippon in this game, and I don't think Kona's getting a win this year. Next up, Lote and Orox. We got Yuki Kirakawa for Lote and Anderson Espinosa for Orox. So, uh, Kirakawa, he's the kind of a relief guy. He doesn't really go more than three innings. Um, but I like him to hold the... Uh, Orox uh, only only... Limit, or limit Orox, let's say limit Orox. And uh, Espinosa, Lote has beaten up on Espinosa before. A couple times, so... I'm gonna go first half over, but... I don't think they're going to get too many more than uh, three, I think it is. So we're going to go with a full game under here. I just think they'll get some runs early here. All right, guys, hold up for the parlays. Hold up. All right, here we are in the first half here. We got that under three for Hiro Yamari. We're going under two, Chinichi Yako. I hate those, or under two and a half. I hate those, but... I think it's the logical way to go, unless we took Yakult plus half a run, but Chinichi can be at one nothing, so I don't know, I think two and a half is the best way to go there. Uh, Hokido minus half a run, Fukaka minus half a run, Yoko minus half a run, and Chiba minus half a run. I kind of like this too, guys. I think we're going to go with that because uh, just in case, I think there's going to be runs scored in that game. 
like I said already, so I do like that. So now if we played this one, we're looking at a 5-2-3 bail. That's pretty fucking sweet. And now if we played this one, uh, 498 payout, not too bad there. So we're gonna play both of those and win that money tonight. So that's what it is, guys. All right, hold up for the full game. All right, guys, here we are in the full game. We got two plays here also. So we're going under five and a half hero Yamari, under five for Chinichi. And we're gonna take Chinichi money on. Uh, we got where are we here? Seibu, we got Nippon, minus one and a half. Over seven, Fukaka. And Radigan, we got a money line for Yoko. And we got under six for Orox. And Lote. So if we go with the money line here for Chinichi. Let's see, it's only a 3.93 payout. But we'll make up for that in the first half, no doubt. And then if we go with the under five, hold on, guys, another pause right here. Uh, then we got a 427 payout. Not too bad. So there we go, guys. All right, guys, good luck to all you. Let's get that money. Kids, love. Peace, peace.